Well, I think I broke my LS6. Has a rod knock right over yonder. Now, for a backstory. When I was trying to get this car going before summer, springtime-ish, uh, I was trying to get it going and I had open headers and with a Holly, it's self-learning, the Terminator X. And here's the end of the header and the O2 bung is like right here. So as it pulses, it was just bringing it fresh air and injecting a ton of fuel to try to keep that air fuel ratio where it needs to be. too much fuel because it was it was overcompensating and just filling the whole oil pan with gasoline and that ran through shot a bunch of bearings so I took it apart fixed the bearings fixed my exhaust problem and my uh, harness problem for the ignition and then I put it all back together ran perfectly But I, what I think happened and why I have a rod knock is the oil pump is lubricated on oil. And when I was at the track, I was running a constant 6,000 plus RPM around the track. So I think I really did in the, the oil pump. The high RPM really just finally did it with the pump being damaged previously from my previous event of trying to get it going. I think we lost oil pressure in that back corner over there and spun a bearing, which doesn't make sense though, because it still had good oil pressure all the way through. So that doesn't make sense. And I'm, I'm like four pounds low now. So I realized that it was knocking when I came back from the track the next day on Sunday, put my new power steering box in this one here. And I was gonna test, take it for a test drive and make sure it worked because I previously had experiences of them not working and as I was going out, I started it up, which I'll put in right here, and it sounded perfect. The car sounded great. Um, as I was driving down the road, I went to go up past 3,000 RPM and it's, you could hear a knock over there. I thought it was a rattle, but it's not. You can clearly tell it's a knock. So, I mean, I, I broke it. The whole thing's coming out. Probably gonna put a new cam in it because I want some more sound and some more power. And uh, yeah. So surprisingly though, the 10 bolt hung on. The 10 bolt's not blown up yet, which is honestly a surprise to me because I do beat the crap out of the car. Next video, we'll take it out, tear it down, and uh, see what I did to break it. So, I guess come along and we'll uh, find out what happened.